What's going on everybody? I'm Kels and I smell really good. Today I wanted to talk about a couple of dupes, clones of very popular new niche fragrance from Creed. If you guys want to see what fragrances I'm talking about, stay tuned. All right guys, so I recently got these two. I've had this one a little bit longer than this one, but we'll get straight into it. This is called Poseidon's Absolute Elixir. It is from Dua. Had this one for maybe like a month and a half-ish. Now, this is Alexandria's version. This one just came out. Of course, they took their time on it a little bit more than Dua because Dua kind of rushed stuff. But this one's called Brasilia Absolute. And one thing I also noticed about Alexandria, they changed their 30 mils to be more so like their 100 mils and stuff. So that's interesting. I kind of like their 30 mils. It's kind of random, but I just wanted to show you something I thought was kind of funny. So when you throw the do it cap on that Alexandria, I think that looks really good, but I don't know. Random, but I think it just looks clean like that. And the duo with the Alexandria cap, Looks kind of cool too, but anyways, let's get into these fragrances. Put a little bit on tester strip. Here's the Dua Atomizer. Got a way better atomizer. This smells really nice, man. Get a lot of grapefruit. There's some of that like pink pepper, like bergamot, and ginger for sure. It's a nice citrusy, fresh. But yeah, it has like a barbershop kind of quality to it. Sort of like Sauvage Elixir. I can see what they say when they compare it a little bit to Sauvage Elixir. I definitely kind of see what they're saying. With the Dua, it's a little stronger, I'll say, than the Alexandria. Now, keep in mind, I don't have a Vendus Absolute. I'm not going to spend $500 on that. Could Might get it one day. It's like a very nice, like classy... It's fresh, clean. You do get a lot of that Aventus DNA. It's almost like it's almost like more mature in a way, but it does have like that barbershop quality to it. Kind of meshes Aventus with the Sauvage Elixir type style, you know, with the barbershop, modern barbershop type of qualities, the Fougeres ish kind of quality. But yeah, man, I can't stop sniffing this stuff. It smells really good. Do is hit or miss. Some of their stuff's kind of funky. They put out so much stuff that it's kind of a little bit ridiculous sometimes. But yeah, man, that's Poseidon's Absolute Elixir. Let me get into this Alexandria's Brasilia Absolute. Atomizer's not as exciting, not pressurized. That's the next thing I need to do. Now, I smell a lot more, a lot more of the citrus in the opening for, for the uh, Alexandria. It's just a lot brighter than the Dua. A lot more fresh, not a lot, but a, a tad more fresh, like noticeably fresher, just more citrusy, bright in your face, aromatic. Now, performance wise, I will say this probably isn't going to last as long as Dua's. Plus, Dua's stuff's all like steroided out, lasts forever. I will say, though, with with this one, with the Absolute Elixir, I actually just doesn't perform as great as some of the Dua's I've had. So it does perform good. You get a solid seven, maybe eight hours, which is great, but... It's not going to be like a 12, 14 hour, you know, performer like some of the other duos. So I'm side by side. This is the duo. This is the Alexandria. They're so similar. The dry down, in my opinion, they're almost like indistinguishable. Like they're so similar. The only thing that's really different, like I said, is the opening. Do it or Alexandria smells a lot more natural, in my opinion, in the opening. Not a lot, but a little more natural than the Alexandria, than the, my bad than the Dua. The Alexandria smells more natural than the Dua in the opening. I mean, all in all, man, super duper similar. I'd say all around this is a more, you know, cleaner smelling. Alexandria stuff always smells just really good, man. I, I would... This one smells a little bit more synthetic and, um, you know, whatever. But I mean, in the air and on paper, like they're so freaking similar, dude. It's 
you can, it's a it's a coin toss, whichever one you want, honestly. I usually kind of prefer Alexandria because I feel like Dew is I don't know, I feel like they rush their products and they're a little sketchy with like the reviews and everything like that. You know, with taking all the bad reviews off their site and stuff like that. They're a little bit more shysty. Like I said, I do like Dua, though. Like, Dua have some fragrances I like. Same with Alexandria. I think Alexandria just knocks everything they do pretty much out of the park. Like, all their fragrances smell, like, amazing. Really high quality. Pretty much everything. But, yeah, man. They're both 30 mils. It's actually 34 or whatever. Both extract to parfum. So, price-wise, I got this on sale. I think I paid, like, $34 for this. Maybe like on a 30% or some kind of 20%. I don't know. Something like that. One of their little sales they have. Pay like 35, 34 for this, which isn't bad. Man, well, dollar a mil. So it's a little expensive. This was also a 20% pre-order. This came out quite a bit later than that one. This came out like just literally like a few days ago. I believe I paid like 40 bucks. So they're about the same price. This one's a little bit more natural smelling. This one lasts longer. It's really a roll of the dice, man. So, they're both great, great fragrances. I'm sure, you know, Alexander usually get their shit pretty much 100% right. And Dua do a pretty good job, too. So, I'm sure they smell just like a Venice Absolute. Like I said, I haven't smelled that. But, yeah, man. If you want that DNA for a pretty good price, go check these out.